Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of the Wick Editor, and today I'll be showing you how to create dynamic, interactive buttons for your Wick Editor projects. To get started, I'll show you kind of our basic setup. We've got a red button here. Um, I haven't converted this yet, it's just two paths. Uh, and we also have this really basic little animation at the end. And so I want to have it happen so that when you click this button, the animation plays and then it goes back to our red button. Um, there's no extra code on the timeline yet, so the first thing I'll do is select the first frame. I'm going to edit the default script, and I'm going to tell the timeline to stop on this frame. So that's our first piece of code. Now the timeline's waiting. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pieces of my red button. I'm going to make it interactive, and I'm going to convert it into a button. So now when I play my project, I hover over the red button, I get a nice pointer finger. Um, but I want it... Uh, I want this button to actually be responsive when someone hovers over it and when someone clicks on it because uh, right now it's actually doesn't have any response to it yet. Um, so if we select our button and we edit the timeline of this button, you'll notice that it has three frames. The first frame is up, second frame is over, and the third frame is down. Now what do these frames actually mean? Right now they're all exactly the same. Um, but what these actually mean is this frame will show up whenever the mouse is not over this object, when it's up and away. Um, this frame will show when the mouse is over the object, and this frame will automatically show when the mouse is clicked down on the object. Um, so why don't we edit these up? So what I'm going to do is select the red of this button, and I'm going to make it even brighter than usual. So you notice that I added a bit of contrast to that button. Um, next on the down frame, I think what I'll do is I'll make it a bit darker. And I'll actually bump this over a little bit so it looks like the button is being pressed down. So kind of looks like the button is being pressed down. Now if I return to the project, I can just click project, in the bottom left, and I play, this button now highlights when I hover and presses down when I click. Awesome. Now the only thing left to do here is select the button and add a mouse click script and say that when the mouse is clicked tell the timeline to play and if I press play and I click we get our little animation to play. And that's it. That's how we create dynamic buttons in the Wick Editor. Um, remember all buttons have three frames that up, over, and down. Uh, feel free to experiment and check it out and see kind of what kind of buttons you can make. When you add a little bit of these dynamic elements to your buttons, like these little hover states and these press down states, it really gives your product a lot of life, so try it out. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, if you'd like to support the Wick Editor and the development of the Wick Editor further, why don't you head on over to our Patreon and become one of our Patreon patrons. All of the support we get on Patreon is used to improve the Wick Editor, pay for development time, uh, and other costs associated with running the project, so we appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next tutorial.